Hey, welcome to the Haphazard Homestead. Now we've been picking a lot of wild greens here, but we do raise things too. So that means we've got garden chores. I've got this elephant garlic bed that I mulched in the winter time with a lot of leaves, but those leaves have broken down. And that's a good thing because it means that the worms have eaten those leaves and helped to improve the soil. But now I need more mulch and for different reasons. One, to keep the weeds down. Two, to keep the moisture in so that I don't have to water this bed before that garlic is ready. And three, is to keep the garlic cool so that it doesn't get stressed from any high temperatures that we might have before it's mature. I still want to improve the soil, so that means I still want to feed the worms too. So I'm using leaves that I acquired from the neighbors this winter and mulching again. I'm just tucking the leaves all around the garlic, part way up their stems. They still have plenty of leaf area exposed so they can get sunlight and continue to grow. But they're protected from any dry spells we might have or any warm weather from now till the time they're harvested. I may have to replenish the leaves once or so more. I applied this mulch on March the 7th. So let's take a look three weeks later. Here's how the elephant garlic looks now. It's growing like gangbusters. It's beautiful, and the mulch has really kept the weeds down well. Well, that's an update on actually getting something done here at the Haphazard Homestead. It's nice to have something in the garden that's not bothered by slugs, so it can really benefit from a good mulch.